My name is Peter. I'm a student of religion philosophy. Now, my question is on the textual authenticity of the Quran. First, when uh, Abu Bakr commanded Zayd to gather the text together, he did that. But there is also written in Al Bukhari, volume number 5, page 96, Abdul ibn Masud. He was the uh, authority mentioned by Muhammad. He gathered a text. Then Salim, the freed slave, he gathered a text. And also uh, Ubay ibn Kaab, a master reciter mentioned by Muhammad. And there are also other people who compiled their text. But when Usman became the Khalifa, he ordered Zayed to make replicas, seven replicas of his text and sent it to the different parts and ordered those previous texts to be burned. Now, if those master reciters compile the Quran and Usman ordered those texts to be burned. Now there raises a question on the authenticity of the Quran. MashaAllah, brother knows about Ibn Masood, may Allah be pleased with him, about Zayd Ibn Thabit, may Allah be pleased with him. MashaAllah, many of the Muslims will not know those names. You know, now it's easy to go on the internet. Jesus Christ, peace be upon said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 8, verse number 32. Seek the truth and the truth shall free you. Now when internet is there, many people go on the internet, there are various websites which are speaking against Islam. They go, they get the name and they decide, no problem, brother. No problem. Brother, as far as the question is concerned, the people who compiled the Quran, there was a group of Sahaba, the companion of the Prophet. Whenever Prophet got a revelation, he repeated it to these Scribes. And suppose, He got the revelation, and Prophet, MashaAllah, very good memory, Allah saw to it that he returned to the memory, he repeated it. When he repeated, these scribes wrote down. The Prophet personally verified, he was an ummi. How did he verify? Okay, read it now. Ah, correct. So Prophet personally verified, when he was alive, whatever was written down of the Quran, whether it was perfect or not. And there is personal supervision. And these scribes, they were selected by the Prophet, and that's how when the revelation came in 22 and a half years, all was written down and later compiled in one book. All supervised by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even the order. Now, later on, there were many other people, whenever the Prophet said a verse was revealed, they used to write in his own notes. Many, many sahabas. But this private notes, of the other people weren't checked by the Prophet. Suppose the teacher gives the notes, 100 students are copying. How do I know whether it's right or wrong? If I'm giving a lecture, if some people note down, chapter number, verse number, chapter number, verse number, how fast can they note down? And if I don't verify, they say, oh, Dr. Naik, you said this reference. Where did I say it? Have I checked it? So what happened later on, there were many variants version of the Quran. Version means people thought their own notes to be the real Quran. And when Islam spread, people did not know which was the real Quran. So at that time, whatever the compiled copy was there, when Hazrat Abu Bakr Malla believed with him, during these scribes, it was then in the hand of the wife of Prophet. Hazrat Hafsa, may Allah be pleased with her. And then Usman ordered that copy, may Allah be pleased with him, and had a replication so that it could be sent to different parts of the world. And then he said, whatever copy you have, whether right or wrong, you burn it. Because that hasn't been verified. So people had their own notes. Suppose someone makes notes of my lecture, there are people making here notes. Maybe 80% is right, 90%, 100% is very difficult. Correct? 100% is very difficult. So 80%, even if it's 100% correct, if I give you, now this is the book of my lecture, you know you'll be getting a book now. Quran and Modern Science. Authenticated by me. Your notes, you throw it away. Why does he require the notes? 
I have given you a book. Anyway, you aren't getting the full lecture. You are getting part of the lecture, Quran, Modern Science. Now that part I'll tell you, brother, throw that notes away. This is correct. Authenticated by me, Dr. Zakir Naik. My book. The same way, whatever was authenticated by the Prophet, the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat Usman, may Allah be peace with him, he said, all the other copies should be burned. That does not mean there was variant Quran. There was one Quran that was revealed. But people, when they wrote with their own notes, there were differences. So that's the reason now one of those copies is even today present in Koptaki Museum in Istanbul. So this, and if you check it with today's Musaf, it is exactly the same, word to word, letter to letter. That's the way, even if you try to change it, you cannot, because today there are millions of people who know the Quran by heart. And here in our audience, mashallah, we have many huffas, mashallah, who know the Quran by heart. Even if you burn the copy, you get all the huffas together, you get together, again the original Quran, word to word, letter to letter can be reproduced. Hope that answers the question. But isn't it the same with the master reciters at the time of Muhammad and the Zayed's text was compiled only after the death of Muhammad? That's totally wrong to say that. What we have to realize that Zayed ibn Thabit, he was appointed as the chief of the scribes. There were many sahabas together. He was appointed as the chief. And this was personally verified by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And later on, at the time of Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, it was made into a book form. Because at that time, there was not paper. There was no pen. It was written on parchment, on bones, on blades, on different material. Then it was later transferred to one uniform material and made into a book form. Nowhere does it say that there were different versions. So all these scribes, even when it was written down again, when Hazrat Usman, when he ordered Malai peace with him, those people who were alive in the group of the scribes, he called them. And among them again, Zayd ibn Thabit, he was appointed as the leader. Hope that answers the question.